Father, we love you. We give you the glory. You are a faithful God. We honor you for your grace, and love, and mercy. Thank you for your faithfulness. In the name of Jesus, we give you the thanks because you have begun a good work. And surely also you will accomplish be exalted. This morning I'm asking that your hand of favor and blessing will be our portion in the mighty name of Jesus the Christ. I bless you. We rebuke every demonic presence. We ask in the name of Jesus that your hand will take dominance. I bring the heart and the spirit of everybody before your glorious presence. And I'm asking for an outpouring of your spirit in Jesus' precious name. Have your way. We will give you all thanks. Save the sinner. Reclaim the backslider. Let today be the day the miracle begins in the lives of your dear people. We give you thanks that you are at work in Jesus' precious name. Somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. You don't expect me to tell you what it is, so please help me do what I need you to do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say a good amen. 
I would love us to go straight into God's word. Uh, our theme for this morning, Run 2023, um, Sunday 3, put it on the screen. Let us be able to follow exactly what uh, we have been working on. So, Run has three Sundays today. Is the third Sunday. Tomorrow is going to be the 22nd day and then uh, Tuesday is going to be the last day, the 23rd day. We bless God for his faithfulness, kindness and love and favor that you are so honored and blessed to be alive and well and to be in 2023 by his love and mercy. Can I hear a good amen? amen. You're looking amazing. I give God the glory for your lives that his might will carry you through this year in a precious name of Christ Jesus. Can I hear a good amen? amen. Hallelujah. All right. Now, John chapter 12, verses number 20 and 21. John the 12th chapter, the 20th and 21st verses. There were certain Greeks among them that came up to worship at the feast. The same therefore came to Philip, which was of Bethsaida of Galilee, and desired him, saying, Sir, we want to see Jesus. The same therefore came to Philip, which was of Bethsaida of Galilee, and desired him, saying, Sir, we want to see Jesus. Luke chapter 21, verses 34, 35, and 36. Luke the 21st chapter, the 34 to the 36th verses, the Bible said, take heed to yourselves. Lease at any time your hearts. Be overcharged with suffering and drunkenness and the curse of this life. And so that they come upon you on a worse for us as sinner, it shall come upon all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of man having read you this i will also want to read matthew chapter 16 verse number 19 it has been the premise of what we are dealing with matthew the 16 chapter the 19 verse jesus said i will give unto you the keys of the kingdom and whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatsoever you will lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven i am talking to you about keys keys for 2023 the kingdom has keys the kingdom operates on keys if paul the apostle called those keys mysteries ephesians chapter chapter number three and verse number nine paul the apostle calls this let's start from verse eight just to give understanding the bible said i am the least of the apostles or the saints but grace have been given unto me that I shall preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ. And then in verse number 9, he said, To make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery. In GNT, in this verse, the Bible was talking about and making all people see how God's secret, secret plan is to be put into effect. So, Jesus calls it keys. Paul calls it God's secrets or God's mysteries. Anything that is so dear to the Lord, he conceals it. They go look for it. If I want big fishes in my plate, in my mail, somebody will have to go dig for it then I will have to pay for it. If I want gold, whether gold as gold or white gold or platinum gold or whatever you want, somebody will have to dig for it. Then I will have to pay for it. Somebody out there, they have, you know, dug deep for it. I will have to pay the price they put on it. So Paul is calling those as the secrets of God. The mysteries of God. 
You can be in this life and without mysteries. I'm telling you, sweetheart, you are going to be going in circles or cyclical impact, wasting precious life and time. This is why I see the previous generation as a bitter generation because they see new people coming up. And those new people are doing a lot of things, whether it's politics, governance, business, entrepreneurship, ministry, with ease. Then they envy and jealous. Why are these guys, you know, are not struggling the way we struggled? Because they have discovered keys. When they discover keys, they, they deal with life so easily. You have become born again, but the kingdom have keys. So, interestingly, Apostle Paul, whilst he was writing in the book of Hebrews, he, he said in Hebrews chapter number, I think it's Hebrews chapter 9 and verse, Hebrews chapter 6 rather, verse number 9. Hebrews 6 verse 9. It's not part of my submission, just crossed my spirit. But he said, but beloved, we are, we have, we are persuaded of, of better things that that accompany salvation. The fact that you are born again, you have salvation doesn't mean and want to know there are things. Things, please, that accompany salvation. Things. He didn't say there is a thing. So Paul, in a different way, he says it is, is, is called mysteries and then in another stance, he, he is saying things that accompany salvation. So you can be saved. I mean, let me put it that my, my very good friend, Bishop uh, Sibosiso Zikali, will say at, it, it is a necessity to be saved, but a choice to be blessed. I will say that again, or quote that again. It's a necessity to be saved, but a choice to be blessed, unquote. So by all means, you have to be saved. But when you are saved, to be blessed is your choice. To live a blessed life is your choice. To drive a good car is your choice. To have a good job is your choice. But to be blessed is a necessity. At all costs, you must make heaven. But to have a good wife was your choice. To have a good husband is your choice. To have a nagging wife is your choice. To have a bitter wife is your choice. To have a wife that believes in your vision, your ministry and assignment is a choice. You made that choice. So why do I, I do not understand why people cry out, you know, I, 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 because I wouldn't hear, and I make all that, but one, I didn't buy it. One, I didn't buy it. One, I didn't buy it. You couldn't change, but I will make you, you chose him. It's your choice. You chose him. I cannot complain of, the, the, of anything when I made the choice. Whatever I choose, I take responsibility of the ramification or the consequential pain or the, the pain of consequence that accompanies and follow my choice of decision. Yeah. So to be saved is a necessity, but to be blessed is a choice. I choose, to, I choose to drive a Mercedes. I choose to drive a Rolls Royce. I choose to go by Trotro. I it's a choice. It's a choice. It was a choice to show up here this morning instead of how you. It was a choice. Me see, Christosumwa Yesumi has you know, uh, 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 the Bible no edaho, but the word chirimu no, it matters. It matters. 
I, I want to put it, you know, in this way, then I can allow you to take your seats and I can be able to cruise. I never knew until 2019 when I realized that there are evil doctrines in this country. Doctrines of devils. Yet, it's a church. A preacher that is preaching. Then I realized that people can easily be misled. Easily. Be misled. Because people started expostulating and teaching that poverty is holiness. Anything that does not work, I don't follow it. So don't talk nonsense. Because I don't want to remain in a particular confines of life. The Bible said for we know the Lord Jesus even though he was rich became poor that you through his poverty might become rich. And so if somebody picks up a scripture and twists it and then make a doctrine out of it. I'm telling you, Bible, no, many years ago, Apostle Michael into me shared a testimony with us. It was a very nice story he shared. He said there was a man that was traveling to England. At the time, planes didn't fly. It was steamer ships that went to England. And therefore, he went and bought, the man went and bought a ticket. The ticket, all the money he had was just for the ticket. And the man started traveling. They started the journey. And then he realized that because all the money he had had paid for the ticket, he did not have food, lunch, dinner, and everything. So he decided, I'm going to starve myself for three weeks until we are at the British Canal. And so he lay down and started. So every day he laid at one place. And then he didn't bother. One week he was becoming weak. Morning they went for breakfast. Afternoon for lunch. Evening for dinner. And this man was just dying. Became weak after two weeks. Became so weak. One day after lunch. A young man walked to him and said. Hey friend. Why are you killing yourself? And then he said to the man. Because I have no money to buy breakfast, lunch and dinner. He said. Where is your ticket? Did you buy a ticket? He said. Yes. Can I see your ticket? and then gave the ticket and then he said turn the ticket round he turned the ticket over and behind the ticket was written free breakfast free lunch free dinner will be served on this voyage two weeks on the voyage he was starving himself to death because of the greatest disease among humankind ignorance Ignorance is more powerful than HIV. Is more powerful than cancer. Ignorance is a disease. Disease. There are things that God has given us freely to enjoy. But ignorance is preventing us. Ignorance. Ignorance. If the person is postulating the word does not matter. I don't know why you should take your child to school. I think that you should rather buy the textbook and give it to the child to read. Why will somebody interpret the syllabus and the curriculum? Because even the teacher interpreting must be guided with, by lesson notes. Without lesson notes, the teacher is misguided. Even the Bible, before it can be correctly interpreted, we will have to come to that particular place, ladies and gentlemen, to be guided by the Holy Spirit, to be able to interpret what is written in the letter, because the letter killeth, but the Spirit giveth life. The words which I written or spoken to you, they are spirit and they are life. That will have to be, you know, uh, uh, interpreted or will have to be impacted or reviewed eyes have not seen ear have not heard it has not entered into the heart of man what God has for those who love him but the spirit has revealed in other words you cannot you not receive the 
totality of the fullness of God except there is a revelation and so John chapter 3 verse number 5 the Bible was talking about something profound in God's word and he said you know I say unto you that except a man be born of water and of the spirit no no chapter you know the verse now let's start from verse number 3 he said except a man be born again he cannot see that word see is revelation between my mouth and your ear is a revelation. Preaching ya mi be preaching ya no pe. As you said, you be a be fan. Because of the power of revelation. Same preaching. But God will interpret it to your need, her need, her need. And that is how it will be. You may be seated in the presence of God. Hallelujah. So I said, the first key is in Mark chapter number 9 and verse number 29. Jesus said, this kind goeth not by nothing except by prayer and fasting. And then he goes into the second key, which I was talking to you the other day. John chapter 12 verse number 24 is the second key of the kingdom. He goes, goes very interesting. He says, verily, verily, I say unto you, except a corn of wheat fall to, into the ground and die it abided alone but if it die it bringeth forth much fruit the bible is very interesting also in John chapter 8 and verse number 32 is the third key the bible said and you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free John chapter 17 verse 17 the bible says sanctify them with your truth for your word is truth truth is the fourth key is the third key rather this morning, I will want to, you know, unveil and introduce to you the fourth key as we develop further. Hallelujah. Now, Jesus uh, was teaching amazingly in uh, some particular places in the scriptures. And he made certain particular uh, statements that I believe are very, very important. Matthew chapter 11 verse number 15. Matthew the 11 chapter, the 15 verse. He said, he that has ears, let him hear. Then in Matthew chapter 13 when he was talking about the parable of the sower he made a submission in verse number 9 Matthew 13 and verse number 9 he said who has ears to hear let him hear. What was he talking about? Let me start from verse number one. In, you know, in verse one of Matthew 13, Jesus was talking about, you know, the same day he went to the house, sat and, and the, out of the house and sat by the seaside. And the Bible said the multitude came, came unto him. And then he started teaching them, you know. Uh, in verse number three, he, he started working the word. And then he spoke in, unto them uh, in many parables saying, as so I went to sow for, went forth to sow a seed and whilst he saw some fell by the wayside and the fowls of the earth came and devoured them in the verb in the feet verse he said and some fell by the stony places uh, where there was no much earth, and fought with when it sprung up because it had no depthness of earth the bible said uh, 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 when the sun came up uh, they were scorched and because it had no roots it withered away in the seventh verse he said and some fell in the tongues and the tongues sprung up and choked them and then also he said but the other the other he said the other fell into good grounds and uh, brought forth fruit some a hundred for the sixty and the thirty fold I want to just remind everybody that the quality of the word determines the quality of your life the quality of the husband you marry determines the quality of your life the quality of the relationship in which you are determined the you have a young man in which you are in a relationship with this man can make one statement and you can be in confusion and pain for three months one young man can say we are poor and that can stay with you for four months the spirit is destroyed so i'm saying the quality of the man you marry. You can also have a young man who calls you babe, darling, high, sweet, and demean it without any strings attached. And you feel like a queen all the time. So the quality of the man in your life determines the quality of your life. 
Ghana, I want to say this, the quality of the leader that leads this nation will determine your quality. I can never turn a 10 Ghana cities into a $10 bill. Simple as that. If you vote for quality, you get quality. If you vote for mediocre, you get mediocre. That's what you get. Hallelujah. And then when you got to verse number 8, whilst he was building up in verse number 8, uh, the Bible makes a very, focus sir. the Bible makes in the 8th verse, he makes a submission in God's word. But the other that fell into good grounds, fell into good grounds, brought forth fruit, some a 60, a 30, and a hundredfold. Even the one that fell into good ground, they all didn't bring forth the same capacity. The same did not bring the same. I mean, good grounds, so there were 30, 60, and 100. So Jesus was building up when he got to verse number nine, and then he made that statement again. He who had ears, let him hear. Luke chapter 14 and verse number 35. I'm building, I'm selling my prologue and introduction. Luke chapter 13. You know, he was talking here in verse number 20, the 25th verse. The Bible was making a solid uh, submission of God's word. He said, uh, uh, and uh, Luke, the, the, it's rather chapter 14. Luke 4, did I say 13 or 14? Okay, Luke chapter 14 and verse number 35. The Bible said, and uh, there went a great multitude. 35. Can everybody, can the young man, sir, leave the place. I need concentration there. Thank you very much. Read that. The, it says here, Luke chapter number 14 and verse number 35. It is neither fit for the land, nor yet for the dunghill, but the men cast it out. He that have ears. And here, you know, interestingly, he was talking about the cost of discipleship, the cost of building. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's go to, let's start from verse number 11. Let's start from verse 11. Luke 14 from verse 11. Jesus started talking about uh, whosoever is exalted will be abased. Whosoever humble himself will be exalted. And then he comes to, uh, and, and all that. Go to verse number 20. Let's see if we can be able to get to some of them. And uh, another, he said, uh, I have married a wife. Uh, go to verse number 30, 30. And then in the 30th verse, he was saying, uh, this man began to go to verse 28 so that he can begin to talk about how for which of you intending to build a tower sit not first down first and counted the cost whether he is able or he has sufficient money to be able to finish it in other words Jesus was introducing us to the principles of planning budgeting the principles of prioritizing you know the pre not just get up and we say we have a project you know, that is why in building technology, we have a group of people among the engineers called the quantity surveyors. They are going to quantify the cost. And then we are going to determine whether we have the money or the budget for that particular project. Yeah. So, by the time we put the, the pickers to the ground, we know that we have the revenue to be able to accomplish it. This is why it is becoming some kind of a reproach to the name of the Lord because this national cathedral should have gone through the process of this verse. Sit down first and count the cost and see whether we have the ability to be able to finish it. Look at the way people have insulted the name of God by this cathedral. Look at the way people 
people have maligned the name of the Lord because of this cathedral. How many churches have been built in this nation have gone through that kind of noise and that kind of reproach? Look at the oil dome I in fear. Look at the Perez dome. We did not hear any single noise about this cathedral. When, you know, Dr. Otabel's uh, Christ Temple is was being put up, no noise was heard. Why can't we build a house for God without noise? Even the national mosque didn't have any noise. Did you hear any noise about the national mosque? And God does not deserve the quietness, the order, the decency, the integrity concerning that particular project. So who is intending? Jesus is making a submission. In, he said, who is intending to build a tower sitting and sitting not down first? First. Sit down! First and plan whether you have enough to be able to complete it. We know this one is going here, that one is going here, this one is going here. So that nobody can malign the name of the Lord. It is needless. And then he goes further in the 29th verse and said, least happily after he had laid the foundation and it is not and, and is not able to finish it. All that beholding it will mock him. Exactly what is happening to that project. It's not part of my submission. Let me develop. In the 30th verse, the Bible said, uh, saying, this man began to build and is not able to finish it. And then he goes in the 30th, he said, which king is intending to go for war with another king? Sit and not down first. Consulted whether he is able to finish the battle with 10,000 men or 20,000 men. Because even in war, you need that strategic planning, strategic military intelligence to be able to sit down, calculate the cost. He didn't say calculate the, but calculate the cost. The cost, the human cost, the machinery equipment cost, the weaponry cost, yeah, the accoutrement cost, the cost of armory. When we have the the ability, the resources, the revenue to be able to complete that particular battle. If you see that you are not, then you go and negotiate peace. That was what the Ukraine should have done. America will not tell them the truth. I am telling them this morning. That war, they were not able, they were not ready. What they should have done was in negotiate. By now, their hospitals will be standing, their train stations will be standing, their schools will be standing, their churches will be standing. Jesus said the other day, agree with your friend on the way when you realize that they are dragging you to the court and if you feel you don't have a case, you better make peace on the way before you get to the court. Stop arrogance and this kind of pride and all stuff. Many husbands are refusing the pride and ego have destroyed so many marriages. Humble yourself because we just our dear you be ample, will be our So humble yourself and make peace, reconcile. Uh, say a good amen. Yeah. Make peace. Learn to say sorry. Learn to say thank you. Learn to say I love you. Learn to say thank you. Learn to say sorry. Learn to say I love you. Can we try it? Learn to say sorry. Learn to say thank you. Learn to say I love you. Let's try for the last time. Learn to say sorry. Learn to say thank you. And learn to say we be more awkward a woman to make us. Hallelujah. And this is why I have said 
in Revelation chapter 2 verse number 7, Jesus made the same statement. He was speaking to, you know, writing a letter and then made the submission. He said, he that have hear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcome it, I will give unto him that to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. In verse 11, Revelation 2, 11, he makes the same statement. He said, he that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying unto the churches. He that overcome shall, shall, uh, he he that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. Revelation chapter 2 verse 17. He makes the same statement again. He said, he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to it of the hidden manner and I will give him the white stone uh, give him a white stone and uh, in the in the stone a new name written which no man knoweth saving he that received it in verse number 29 of the same chapter he makes the same statement he that have an ear let him hear revelation chapter 3 verse 6 he makes the same statement in the he that have an ear let him hear what the spirit Spirit said unto the churches, verse number 22 of that particular, he makes us, he said, he that have an ear, let him hear what the spirit, why is he using, it's a key, it's a key to the kingdom. What is the name of that key? The name of that key is divine intuition. Divine intuition. Say, assume you know when Jesus can. If, it, if Jesus was talking about these two ears, everybody has these two ears. Everybody has these two ears. If Jesus was speaking about these two ears, everybody has these two ears. So when he says, he that, have, that, that has an ear, sometimes he says ears, other times he says ear, sometimes singular, other times plural. Let him hear. That means that there are so many people are born again speaking in tongues who are in church who can be elders and deacons and pastors and prophets and apostles yet they have no intuition the Lord is speaking but they cannot hear the falcon is speaking but the falcon cannot hear the Lord, listen to this I know so many people that started very well as presidents but have ended very bad, I know so many people that started very well with the unction as prophets of God but ended very 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 bad because of lack of intuition the spirit of God is navigating their course and speaking to them, yet they cannot hear, I'm talking to the wise only this morning, hear me, they they are, they are being spoken. The Lord is beckoning on them, rebuking them, correcting them, navigating their course. Don't go there! But they cannot hear. They have a husband that loves them and honors them and cherish them, but their attention is on something else. Glamour, glitter. You know, we are looking for, you know, the guy, does he have six pack? Is he, you know, or will you want to put and all kinds of things? But you have somebody who can take care of school fees and put food on the table and love you and honor you but you are looking at somebody else's marriage and comparing it to yours but the bible said that they that compare themselves to themselves are not wise and so the scripture is very interesting when he brings it he that has an ear let him hear let him hear he that has intuition it's a key the Lord can be able to, the, the thing I realize about Ghanaians is that we copy very blindly. We call it, that, that's one of our weaknesses. We copy, if somebody goes to Dubai and uh, his, his business is good for that person, all of us quickly, we don't even care what it, 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 it entails or what it implies. We all start going to Dubai. This is why you have everybody going to China because we realize somebody went to China and he's driving a nice car and living in a good house. We lack deep. The Bible said as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the children of God. Without even intuition, people are going to even lose their salvation. Their names are going to be bloated out of the book of life because of lack of intuition. Be 
when people have intuition they can be great wives great husbands you know they listen and love and uh, they when i say they listen your wife is speaking listen 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 you will not hear listen listen lack of intuition the intuition that came upon the move of God next week I'm going to break it down very well that started the Welsh revival you know and uh, that revival descended with the name Pentecostal Pentecost. they came with that apostolic grace strong move of God it was the same impartation that came on Peter Newman and him and as a man said that that fire started the apostolic church of apostolic church Ghana you know the move was so strong and in when James McKeon joined in as a as a missionary from Scotland baby when he came around he also came with you know a similitude fire in those days the fire was so strong that they did not even believe that if you were sick you should take medication the fire touches you and heal you from every demonic oppression sickness and infirmity and that is why when Jake Maskeon was sick and they took him abroad for hospitalization and uh, also to take him through they, they said he had deserted the faith the fact that he went for medical treatment they believed that he deserted the faith and did not have faith and did not believe the Lord and so whilst they were murmuring there was a split out of you know the, the apostolic church Ghana and then came the church of Pentecost because because I want to ask where is that fire now we have a church that is full of carnality, flesh, backbiting, fighting, envy, jealousy. Now you have even church that the pulpit is used, desecrated, defiled, polluted, and is used for cursing people. Now the pulpit is used for, you know, degrading, maligning people. That is what we have. Now we have preachers who are living promiscuously with church girls. I see us off when you I'm telling you the mind of God. And son of Christ will be peeing and win your mono. Safoni Nanim Beguase. He was stripped down. Everybody that have taken his name in vain. I'm telling you, there is a cleanup going on right now. From the pulpit to the pew. God is cleaning up. I'm telling you, Yami, you swah, you will be found wanting. Seriously. I'm telling you. Say, Nijina, hey. Now, you know, a Kazakh, a teacher, mean tea. Young girls here, but hey, some of that day, or home on the crane, I'm the Mkwasi, I've been a call, so you know, uh, Mamma, wait, Mamma, wait, then, and crop for offering two, five, ten Ghana, twenty, fifty Ghana cities, you know, Nama Kikam, Boom, Nam, the Akohain, Diamano, now, me, no, me, the Bia Javisa, Nam, the Amano, and then wake up on Sunday morning and come and stand here talking nonsense to God's people. I'm telling you, Malachi chapter 2 and verse number 9 was say, because you have misled many people and made many people, you know, gone astray. I, God, I will also make you contemptible. I will bring you to the base of all men. Put it in GNT in this version. The Bible says so. I, I intend, I will make the people of Israel despise you because you do not obey my will. And when you teach my my people do do not treat everybody alike put it in my language in, in this one he said in Timenso yeah he's talking to us of
And this is why now truth cannot be spoken. And come shall in him a dear in him in some funnies and wuno have come into the house of God. People are sinning and misbehaving, and preachers cannot put them in correction because they are struggling with what the people are struggling with. So the boldness and ebullience is not there to rebuke or correct. Cannot be rebuked. I'm telling you, Church of Pentecost, it's time to bring back into sign. Into sign! They was talking to me about an elder. They are a banker, young girl. Now, Wafa banker, or in the national service. So, on any bed, and the bank manager is taking this young girl. And, uh, you know, remember 3,000, they is telling me that, you know, remember 3,000 CDs a month. And then, remember our car, remember our days, remember our dad. Who are you? Elder, me I no pay and crop for a chewabo, so I will not do that to you. I will not do that to you. But I'm going to talk to the people who are omodnam wusu by him. I can tell you boldly, we you be jaw. Two, we you ma be you with you. Three, I sorry no, we are elder woman, um be two as I will reduce a man to a piece of bread. The whorish woman will bring you to a piece of bread. I will read the script. Oh, you can clap. You see, yesterday I was discussing this whole thing with Diddy, and I said, I asked her, what do you think can make a husband do that when you have a wife? I said, well, I don't know. I said, I have a, I have a suggestion. Possibly the wife is not doing her duties. Did they say, sometimes you have a man, you will do everything, and yet they still. I said, those are the dogs. The dogs! The dogs. The dogs, I'm let me tell you, our biggest problem in Ghana politics is not corruption. It's immorality. Immorality. Our leaders are immoral. My wife will say, say some of them. Immorality. Not corruption. But I'm telling you, if you are looking for the problem in Ghanaian politics, it's not corruption. Corruption may be number four. Immorality. Immorality. You who are baby penal. We don't care. So I worry, so I worry, yes, so I, and I, as I'm speaking to you right now, there are men like that sitting here right now, looking into my eyes right now. Reduced to a piece of bread. O Baba Akopa Akopa, make catch no debi as he is so fi dear. Who sorry and no pa? And son of the two or nine, reform, 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 whom fi dear no good form. Before you move your first step, reform. Look at one simple decision. You've lost your job, you've lost your family. You've lost your church. And now let me tell you what you've lost. You've lost your dignity. So, Papa, we didn't hear me men can ask me brain. They say, one way I will my committee suicide. Because everything is crumpling on him suddenly. May catch it though. Now, we didn't have a baby chest in your chum for kickens in one. What is about fee can kind of chain we more? How could I come with it? 
you have the audacity, the ebullience, and the, the boldness to be talking nonsense against your brother when you are in the same thing. Uh, dear, <laughs> I was telling Diddy, I said, there are so many people. I said, I'm going to say, 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 away. You call this, take it off. Let the wife of your youth satisfy you. Let her breast be a satisfaction. So for Penimuye na ye puno nana o hine minister MP Penimu ye na ye puno badu mune ho on ye ya ye puno ye wo ho badu nunu mune ho ana jobe munu se nana ashe hood Aji jeans, not a nightclub na baba wesi ni so no on wine nana no on wine nana yeah! I see your life. Anything in Jeremiah is so. Or therefore, we are not to do to Manu. I got to Nasa. I can't even walk off You will be reduced to a piece of bread. A horish woman will reduce. Atu prebi be kumo, atu prebi be kumo. Enya atu prebi ani ebu, enya prebi ani ebu. Am I talking to the wise? Asi atu prebi kumo, 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 asi atu prebi kumo. How will your children take it when the beans are spilled? How will the people who look up to you for inspiration take it when the beans are spilled? The Bible said, be thou an example to the believers in word, in character, in love. Be thou an example. And therefore, we look out for godliness. Godliness. A godly character. A person with intuition is a man who has God living inside of them. Am I talking to a church? A whorish woman. Can you put the scripture into Proverbs chapter 5? Verse number 3. Let's start from verse 3. Proverbs chapter 5 and verse number 3. I will be reading from that particular point. And then when I finish, I will read something to you. The Bible said, For the lips of a strange woman drops as a honeycomb, and her mouth is smoother than oil. The Bible continues to say, and her end is bitter. Put this in the in my language. In, in my language, he said in this part, was it nechi nechi no ayere no nechi no mema tiye ye nechi nechi nechi. Turn it into the next word, the pray, verse number three. In namen kai misiha o ba sanse ni ano echi e wo so so. The Bible said ne num ye. A chain, a wo, and then it goes and said, "Nam nechi, nechi, nyono, sewo nyono, 
He's talking about Bojuma. Nechia nyono. Ube kura bebi abebani akato. Nechia nyono. Nenam sankrante nufeno. Go to the next verse. But in English. In English the Bible said in verse 9. Her feet goes down to death. Her steps take hold on hell. Can you go to GMT now? And then Liz, the Bible said in verse number 6. Yeah, Liz, she goes not, she does not stay on the road to life, but wanders off and does not realize what is happening. In the seventh verse, the Bible said, now listen to me, sons, and never forget what I am saying. In the eighth verse, the Bible said, uh, uh, keep away from such a woman. Don't even go near her door. The man of intuition will listen and add knowledge and life to his himself. Don't even go near a man in the ninth verse, the Bible said, if you do, others will gain respect that you once had. And you will die young at the hands of messless people. You will die young in the hands of messless people. Verse number 10, listen to that. Yes, strangers will take all your wealth and what you have worked for will belong to someone else. In the next verse, the Bible said, you will lie groaning on your dead bed, your flesh and your muscles being eaten away. Verse 12, the Bible said, and you will say, why will I never learn? Why will I never let anyone call correct me. In the 13th verse I wouldn't listen to my teachers. I paid no attention to them. In the 14th verse and suddenly I found myself publicly disgraced. Disgraced! I remember many years ago somebody died and I was preaching in the memorial service. When the memo I finished preaching and I sat down, a man came from the congregation to me because when I was going to sit down, I called the wife of the gentleman that had died and I said to the gentleman, I pray the prayer of separation for you. You made a vow on your wedding day until death do you part. So I prayed the prayer of separation and separated them and then I sat down. This elderly man came to me and said to me pastor please um, I also came with another woman that this gentleman can you also pray the prayer of separation I'm said ah a pharaoh Abranti ba mukulu mo nuni msa waware katika kramu benya DNT perversion perversion no kure yinti minga no kure minya pa na yenya no kwafu anku omo kasa chire politicians i zatemu o eda wameni uchumu tay na mi bebu atay tell them I'm bringing the message to what all. Let's read Proverbs chapter 6 verse 26. Proverbs 6 26. The Bible said by means of a whorish woman a man is brought to a piece of bread and the adulteress will hunt for precious life. Ha! 
Pago me kasi mo mami ke kaiwe. The mebu se mtinsi ya. Wase. We are saying, is son will be the man for tea? What you will be my partner, Sini. Now, will be your idea. What you know, Quan, the board, Timon, if remains. Will be your idea. Will be quite human, what could be 20 years old. The Bafas didn't pray, and the Kitababro, no, Baben, and I'm happy to kick him. I'm talking to you. Obia, would you be here? Obi Kunechi, Obi Usa Ponche. I told you the mind of God. Obi Usa Ponche. It's the mind of God. Amplified version of this particular scripture. A phone crop for Waha. We can. Nanka will be the national service above Fra Oye Wuba. Oye Wuba. Above Fra ne maneno. Wope ni munda. Chai diya uya. Chai diya uya. Kamu si kum. Chai chai. That is a father. That is a father. Enye peni mu bank manager. Enye a teenager. Enye chimpana. Abofra oye ne national service yem fano wunu epe ne you guide them mu amutiti ya angro forty tis kama mudi na mu na de dakem ni ya de kato kama na de demo na de yiri tifi no sugu ne yem me se wakuma no nyame pe chichiri ni se no wate I'm telling you the mind obi yiri sugu ne yem wongwa swate. I'm telling you. I'm seeing winter and nipper baby. Jala, but stand. I'm telling you. Winter and nipper baby. Jala, you cannot correct it. Oh, you know, you can't even say one person can walk. They might want to know they might be too afraid. Now your boy will surprise him. The lady, his blessing, God is blessing. Yeah, 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 now, and I ask myself, what is the real definition or the true definition of blessing? Cooking is got blessing. Why, hey, you know, the guy is blessed. How is he blessed? Why is he blessed? Saka, Wesika, all these Yahoo boys, you know, the Mercedes C Cloud. What is a car? What is a car? DNA, you A DNA. Yesterday, you know, Uncle Ato, may the Lord continue to comfort your heart. We went uh, to Uncle Ato's wife's memorial service at Tema, Community 12. And may the Lord bless all the barrage of men and women of God, gospel musicians, and all the lovely people that came to commiserate with him. Last Friday, we were at Mauli, Minister Mauli, the gospel musician, also at Cedar Mountain, to go and send him out. Both people are buried. Yesterday, as Antibefi, the police officer who was bent to ashes with his wife, Mami Abrefi, were buried yesterday with their children. But I'm telling the judgment of God is coming after you. The chasm I'm telling you that I will retire with the vengeance of the Lord. And this God, He is more dangerous than Antuanya man. I'm telling you. Yeah. I can't say much. Now, everything, Uncle Atos, why may share the beautiful memorial send off for her and all that. But when they lifted her casket, sadness gripped me. Nothing went with her. Naked she came. Naked she returns. I'm very uncle. Her jewelry didn't go with her. Her cars didn't go with her. The lady had well traveled the world. Her passport didn't go with her. I don't know how you see life. Man is here today, tomorrow he's gone. Is this why 
He says, how? You say, I mean, people can be so proud and arrogant, talk big and all that. Hey! Obi nebe jari wo. Obi nebe jari. Come down! Come down. Akwa ye juma peninti din se wuru. Really free self from from until her dad. Obi a panka. Buono! Buono! Be a help. Be a help. Be a passport here and any that will be paid with. I mean, what, what kind of society is this? What makes you think that every woman is a sex machine? What makes you think like that? Because a woman is an intellectual being, a woman is an astute being, a woman is an industrious being. That is how you should see a woman and not, you know, who be the two friend here when they told that the lady, the Idenyash or no Idenyash. For what drink can kind of a baby be far. We came here to serve God. We came here to honor God. We came here to reverence God. We came here to work on our salvation. We fear and we're trembling not nyash and boobs there are many the way immorality is creeping into the pulpit is scary it's very the, the level of contamination on the church of God is something Say, politicians, women, surrounding me, discard left and right. I'm not sure because, you know, there are people that goes around them who are supposed to be God's people, who can, who must be John the Baptist, must be baptized. Tell them truth. Keep your money. How many preachers can do that? Keep your money. Me am a diplomatic pastor. Me am a VVIP. Me too hard for hot da. You know, a dear beer. You're the man as a privilege. Me am a I know it. But no credence with you with tea. Who bet tea? Who pill? Who pill? Who bet tea? Who tea? Who bet tea? I'm telling you that. Now, if you catch it over here, me know more than half. Minu moja for you will rot in hell. Minu moja hon for. A Kenya mi adu ya chila. Ena no pe ma me futu o nyo fe. Ne fa tini ne kan boni tu ka. Ya. Ya ye ti ya ye kan gro fo de ye di ngon kon sa. Kon kon sa. Adu yi fi in kwa si adu ne. Ena yi mu fa dudu o nwa ye wo. A kayo. En pensembe yi no. En titi mu. O fri ha. That kind of life. Liars! Liars. We lie against our own husbands and our own wives. Uri ababete uton sunesi. So lili alila. Lili alila. Lili alewa. Lili alewa. Sorry, Abba. Preach the word in season and out of season. Rebuke, reprove, correct with all long suffering and doctrine. Second Timothy chapter four. And verse 2, preach the word, not nonsense. Preach the word, not dogma. Preach the word, not madness. Preach the word. Be instant, in season, and out of season. I'm still reminding you. A strip of all your honor and dignity. Five minutes pleasure would deny you a whole future. A whole future will be stripped away from you. I'm talking to the wise only. This is how President Clinton was stripped to reproach. 
Look at President Clinton's wife and look at Monica Lewinsky and tell me who is beautiful. Sin blinds you. Yeah. Sometimes I remember when I had an abiding out of me, who said, Who near me be? Your choice, your choice is even uh, very, very, very faulty, uh, you know, with, uh, uh, you know, glaucoma and. Uh, Myopia. Yeah. Obscured decisions and choices. Hallelujah. She Because we'll be a born again, just where you lose. Because we'll be a Christian and she doesn't say, you know, or you're frivolous. She ye! Who are you worried? I'm going to say, put no name, but see, I'm going to how are you going to be blessed? Huh? Betty, what a few years ago goes. Boy, yeah, we have brother Isika almost 1.5 million Ghana City, 15 billion. And then the young man asked a very good question. What did you what did you do? Would he be an mean? To be better, one point five billion when you be now a sorry no akotanase. Me say akushifu ni chalutu. A son suffer. Ne ko better in comparison to what God has done. I told you the mind of God. You could have told me can you end up say TV radio for? I just can't. We can't say. But can we? Akushifu ni chalutu. Single four thirty nine about three years ago, with the market by all, who birth certificate here, a betra, and who are junior, you're the calculator, we wouldn't have junior the register company. Wouldn't have junior the register company. Interesting. Divine intuition is what I'm talking about. Me. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the way the early Christians, like the, the matriarchs and the patriarchs right now, Christiana Dotete, Steve Mensah, Stanley Mensah, you know, Duncan Williams, uh, Karanche Ankara, Ajena Sari, Mensah Otterbell, all these people that I'm mentioning, during their time of public revealing when the law started with them, the distractions were less. Distractions were very minimal. Now, the things that are competing for our attention are unbelievable. You are on your computer doing your work, minding your own business. Suddenly, Illuminati pops up. Do you want to be rich? I am typing my document. I haven't spoken to you. Latin Dante. I'm typing my work. I'm typing. I'm just about to save. And then suddenly, a naked woman pops up. I am next nearby. Do you want to hang up with me? You so many perfect here. The things and above all the level of carnality. We are describing wealth, blessing as car, house. That's how we define blessing. You drive a car, God has blessed you. You will have a house. God has blessed you. What kind of nonsensical description is that? But what kind is that? What kind is that? I don't care what you drive. It will perish and vanish away. Cleave unto that that cannot perish. Cleave unto eternal life. Cleave unto godliness that is in Christ Jesus. Cleave unto, cleave unto Christ. Who is the epicenter of life and the real meaning of all things and all other things shall be added unto you. Seek ye first the kingdom. Oh, Mama and Samoa. I said that the, the predicament of this nation is not corruption is immorality.
I have spread the flag of Ghana on the altar of God. The right hand is on your heart. I promise on my honor to be faithful and loyal to Ghana, my motherland. I pledge myself to the service of Ghana with all my strength and with all my heart. To uphold and defend the good name of Ghana. So help me God. Can you stretch your hands on the flag of Ghana on the altar? Please this morning make intercession for this nation. We are asking help God's grace. May the Lord help us. Nobody told you I'm going to tell you what we are in. This country is poor. Broke. If the Lord does not come through in the next six months salaries are going to be a problem. Government will find it difficult to pay even police, teachers, nurses, doctors. I'm telling you. And once we are praying, Father, I'm asking you give the leadership of this country the discretion to understand that people like individual bondholders they have no business with this restructuring. It's a choice. If they want to give their money to it, fine. If they don't, my God, I pray, let them know by discretion and release individual monies to them and let the individuals do what they want to do with their money. If they want to support this nation with it, so be it. If not, they have the freedom, my God, to be able to do with what they want to do with their money. And let this country be able to learn from the wasteful life. And so that we can recover the pieces and the fragments. And to be able to stand competently on our feet. Give us fiscal discipline. Give us, oh God, the carefulness and the discretion. We need, this country needs divine intuition. To be able to prioritize, to know what is, what is right to do what first and what next give us that kind of grace in the name of the Lord Jesus I make intercession for the people in the hospitals, for the people in the prisons, I make intercession I pray for people who are vulnerable and feel underprivileged, less fortunate in the name of Jesus, I pray for the people that have become a prey for the predator in the name of Jesus the Christ deliver your people from the newsome pestilence and the arrow that flyeth by day, the net that catches in an evil day in the name of Jesus and heal the soul of this country. I pray for my president. Father, let him know that you are his source. Protect him and grant him grace. Help his tenor and stewardship to be a success. And let Nanado Dankwa Ekufuadu know that righteousness exalts a nation. Sin is a reproach to any people. I pray in the name of Jesus that the people of Ghana will know that blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. The people who chooses you, you will choose them. The people who forsake you, you forsake them. Give us that grace. Heal our city. Heal our economy. Heal our businesses. Help the businessmen and women in this country. Help petty traders. Help them. Above all, I am praying. I'm asking in the name of Jesus. Every child going back to school, starting SHS, grant them help. In the name of Jesus. Today is our 21st day of fasting and praying. I bring all the requests on the altar before your throne. Every request within our spirit. Let the words of our mouth, the meditations of our heart be acceptable in your sight. God, our strength and redeemer. In the precious name of Christ Jesus, we give you thanks. You are a faithful God. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Clap your hands for the Lord. You don't know the Lord Christ as Savior. You want your sins to be forgiven. Your hand is on your heart. Say, dear Jesus, forgive me of all my sins. Wash me in your precious blood. Write my name in the book of life. This morning, I receive eternal life 
into my spirit. I am born again. I am a child of God. Thank you, Father, for honoring this plea and petition and prayer. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Clap your hands for the Lord. Sweet Melodies 94.3 FM, about 92.5 FM, Amansan and GN Television, Facebook, YouTube, and Podcast. Good morning to all of you. You want to join us for our offerings? 0249 80 9911 or 059-229-6667. 059-229-6667. Can you put the original poster on the screen? Let me acknowledge very quickly all these lovely people. And to also let you know that Abna Sewa Ophelia Ministries tonight is having Nasia Foria 2023 and is starting at 4 p.m. at Accra Technical Training Center, the PIWC Dome. It's going to be a very special time by the grace of God. You can't miss it for anything in the world. I am inviting everybody to Nasia for you this evening and the Lord will bless you. Help me to thank God for the life of Reverend George Nati, Prophet Job Adu, Prophet Frederick Danso, Prophet Ebenezer Akonai, Prophet Steve Danso, Reverend Jerry Peno, Dr. Justice Avevo last Friday my God, Reverend Emmanuel Samba, it was awesome last Wednesday, Apostle Isaac Akwesia Pia came last Thursday again with his dear wife. The Lord bless them and uh, Apostle Jeffrey Quayson. Tomorrow and Tuesday in our grand finale we are receiving Prophet Love Papo for the two days is going to be awesome. CC Beidou will be joining us on Tuesday evening in praise and worship. It's going to be awesome. I'm inviting you and your family to the final sessions of our 23 day run 2023 refill unction now the lord will bless you and honor you and let me say a big god bless you to all of you taking this very seriously since they won and you have been crying out unto the lord say a good amen, amen. my mother christiana do tete is uh, going to be 46 years in ministry uh, uh, somebody is preaching for 46 years 46 years preaching 46 congratulations my mother wow then you want to to go on for Kruvanji preaching kakri preach we time we we see we I say we da 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 Yesterday, whilst uh, Reverend Uso and son was preaching at Uncle Ato's wife's uh, memorial service, he made a very, very powerful submission. He said, everybody will die. Tell your neighbor you will die. Now, we'll be into me. I said, whether you say it or not, you will die. I said, if you know you will die, why don't you want to shake somebody? Why don't you want to smile to somebody? Why don't you want to hug somebody? And then uh, you would think women in and cast away them penas and women per se me who name or beba party ni be a member. Hey, we be near Besha Watadi. Hey, the Lord have mercy. Hallelujah. I catch you tomorrow at 6, sorry, at 5.30, the extra time of prayer starts. The Lord bless you. The next service is at 9 o'clock. Fellowship with us in any of our branches. When righteousness becomes a lifestyle, breakthroughs, it becomes a tamadic. May the Lord bless you and keep you. I love you. See you next time. The church has lost discipline, structure, and focus. That is why these days the people come to church with pictures. That's witchcraft. Personally, Papa! Neko. 
Me catch a national lotteries. I could shifu ni chalut. I sang safu. And a competing company say what Ghana end. Bia bia. Who ya na sasi so ya careful. Ya bowe su kama. What be fe Christo. Ya bowe su. And all that do change the change. Still entro entro entro. In free was. Yesuma <laughs> Ghana floor, Mungai. Now we need now. Third, second time or cultural 2019. Now we need now. The time has come for judgment to begin in the house of God because the house of God have been turned into the den of thieves. The house of God have been turned into a, a pivot of exploitation, deception, manipulation, seduction. The house of God have been a place of ridicule. The house of God have been turned into playing grounds for charlatans to come and display their words. The house of God has turned into the place where we showcase and exhibit flesh and carnality. The house of God now has become the place where the people go to hear nonsense and madness. The house of God now has turned into the place where the people go to chase girls and go and snatch husbands and go and snatch people's wives. The house of God has now turned into all kinds of madness where the people don't fear God anymore. The house of God has been turned into the place that the moment you begin to talk against sin, iniquity, transgression and wickedness the preachers will tell you to tone down